Thanks for taking the time to learn about FlexiCoder. FlexiCoder is a hidden gem that we have at E1 Solutions. FlexiCoder is a tool that works with Dynamics GP and is used to automatically recode the segment values for general ledger distributions. Many companies and organizations have very specific rules on how the distributions need to be allocated. FlexiCoder allows you to do several things such as automate this process with specific rules, split or reallocate based on line item values, restrict processes from running based on logic, and if you're working with our extender product, it allows you to integrate data from extender forms and windows. Bottom line, FlexiCoder will save you hours of manually recoding the GL segments and also eliminate the human error by manually changing them. So let's talk about what we can recode with FlexiCoder. FlexiCoder allows us to recode the following, item, class, customer, customer class, territory plan, salesperson, SOP document type, also any extender dropdown list or checkbox field linked to an item, a customer or a SOP document. This means that if all of the above fields don't give you the identitors you need, then you can build in an extender and recode off of that extender list. Next, let's jump into the FlexiCoder product so we can see it in action and how it's set up. In today's example, I'll be inside of SOP invoices. I'll show you how to have your distributions on Dynamics GP SOP invoices automatically recode based on a set of user-defined rules. We'll start by pulling up the SOP invoice and look at the default distributions. We can see that the sales distribution is the standard 0004100000 sales segment. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on save. This is what triggers FlexiCoder to work in the background. This is where all the magic happens is on the save. So let's reopen that invoice again. and take a look at those distributions. Now we can see there are two for sales, the 400, 4100, and the 500, 4100. This is because we have recoded the first segment of the account based on salesperson. Now, if we pull up each line item on this invoice, we can see we have two different salespeople. You can see Sandra here, And we can see on the other item, we have Paul W. So this is because we have now split this sales account, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and dive into FlexiCoder and see how we set that up. So in Dynamics GP, we're going to go to Tools, Setup, Sales, and FlexiCoder. We can see that there are multiple areas inside of FlexiCoder here that FlexiCoder works with. So inside here, we work with receivables management, such as credit memos, debit memos, finance charges, sales invoice, warranties, et cetera. Returns management, such as inventory adjustment, invoices and return, and sales order processing, such as fulfillment orders, invoices, and returns. Okay, we're gonna take a look specifically today underneath sales order processing and sales. So we can see how we set up that example that I just showed you, how we set that up to work, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the de details by clicking the expansion next to the first segment that we recorded based on salesperson. For Paul W, we had this recode to a 400 segment and for Sandra, we had this recode to the 500 segment. You can also see that other salespeople don't need to be recoded at all. So we set those to be do not recode. Okay, so it gives you both of those options to recode or to not recode those. As mentioned before, FlexiCoder does allow you to recode multiple segments. I'm gonna to continue to show you how we can do this. In addition, I'm gonna show you how we can combine another E1 tool called Extender into the mix 
when you don't have the needed identitors out of the box, such as item, customer, document, location, etc. For now, we'll use an extender window that has been added to the GP SOP entry window to keep track of what subscription the customer has purchased. So in this third segment, I'm going to switch this from none to SOP extra subscription type. I'm going to expand this window next to here. And we can see that the extender values will automatically populate because it's a list. Here, we're going to assign the annual subscription to a 02 segment and the monthly subscription to a 01 segment. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our SOP invoice. And we're going to pull up that same invoice that we've been working with. And we're going to go ahead into the additional menu here into SOP extras. Okay. The subscription type is currently set to annual, so we can expect to have our accounts be set to 400 or 500, 4100, 02. Okay, because if you remember, we set that 400 and that 500 to the salesperson, 02 and 01 for that subscription, the first and the third segment being recoded. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and I'm going to save this and watch this be recoded. You'll see that we get two errors indicating that neither of these accounts exist, right? So if we go ahead and pull up that invoice again, you'll see if we look at the distributions that this has gone back to the default since those accounts don't exist, right? We weren't able to recode that 400 line segment or the last segment of that account either. So let's try this again. Okay, we're going to open up this invoice again. And what we're going to do this time is we are going to go into that SOP Extras window and changes from an annual subscription to a monthly subscription. This time, I know for a fact, I have that account exists underneath the monthly subscription. So I know for a fact we have that 01 segment that exists. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and save this again. And you can see we didn't get an error that happened. So what that's telling me is that magic did it or that FlexiCoder did its magic in the background. And if we go ahead into the distributions, we can expect then that 400 and the 500 accounts to be recoded, as well as that 01 segment on that sales account to be recoded. So let's go back a minute and talk about the missing account error. So this is really great that it obeys the rules, gives us the error, and sets it back to the default account. However, it can be burdensome to get the errors. So let's take a look at the options we have available on how to handle this issue. So if we go back into FlexiCoder, and we go underneath the options module options area, we can configure the missing accounts, okay? So there are options to warn the user if the account doesn't exist simply by checking the box. Additionally, if you have business needs to create account combinations that don't exist yet, there's an option to do this as well. As you can see, there are other options in this screen as well, but for now, we're going to go ahead and hit the Save button to continue the demo. The last thing that can be very useful is to identify any exceptions you may want to include. So I'm going to go ahead and select the plus button on the bottom of the FlexiCoder setup window. I'm going to choose the document type and then the document labeled SVC0. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save this. So this will now give us the exception, or this will now tell us to ignore recoding whenever I have a document typed labeled the SVC0. Okay, so this is also a great option to be able to include those exceptions um, because those are always going to have 
people are always going to have those sets of rules to always include different exceptions as well. So just to recap what we went over, today we showed how you can recode the sales distributions using a salesperson and values from an extender window. Finally, we also touched on exceptions and options for dealing with missing accounts. You've now seen how we can recode one or more segments of an account with your business rules. The ability to recode sales, receivables, cash, COGS, freight, inventory, markdown, miscellaneous, and trade discounts on sales orders gives you a lot of flexibility. And hey, it's even in the name of the product. Additionally, you can recode receivables management and returns management documents, as well as other sales order processing documents. It won't take you very long to realize you've made a great return on your investment and made your employees more accurate and happier by using FlexiCoder. So thanks again for spending time with E1 and getting to know our products. Make it a great day with FlexiCoder.